Mush Mushy. The Spiff Tate giving you Keenum Hearts Chain of Memories on the Game Boy. This is not re chain of memories on the PS2 or whatever. This ain't. Um, Kingdom Hearts 3 Chain of Memories 1.5, 2.5 HD crap. No, just the original Game Boy Chain of Memories game. Yeah, I really, really like Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, 3 Chain of Memories. I, I do. I do like Chain of Memories. It's one of my favorite games. Uh, I like it. Brings, it you know, floods a lot of memories for me. And it's more of the black sheep of the entire Kingdom Hearts franchise. And not a lot of people really like it, I guess. I'm alone. It's mainly because of the um, card based synergy of the entire game, but I do like that part. And the best part about this game is I don't have to fly the damn gummy ship, because I hate the gummy ship. But we're just gonna start a new game here for our thing. Just gonna open up my save file. Got a little cutscene here. And if you happen to play or seen game footage of the first game, Kingdom Hearts 1, uh, this is how it ended. Technically, this is the very last thing they did. They chased Pluto down this little long road. And this is how this game starts. Kind of cool to think about. It had like something you need. The hell? To claim it, you must lose something dear. But yeah, I hope you all um, enjoy this gameplay slash walkthrough. Not really much walkthrough. I haven't played the Game Boy version in years. But we're just gonna go and have fun with it. Ah, uh, here it is. Castle Oblivion. <laughs> like no one's home. Should we just barge in like this? We have to if we're gonna find the king. Oh yeah, I guess we are looking for him. King King Mickey's here. Yeah, this is a plot base from the first game. Maybe, maybe not something told me he's here, that's all. Really? But now that you mention it, I was thinking the same thing. That's interesting. Are you serious? So was I. Yeah, even I, personally, me, Spiffy Tate, just somehow felt that Mickey Mouse is also here, just has a felt it, you know, he's definitely here. Somewhere. Probably in the basement somewhere. <laughs> uh, one look at this castle, and I just knew. They're here. Well, what do you know? Guess great minds think alike, I guess. Guess again, this can't be a mere coincidence. And Jimmy, don't tell that. I felt it too. Gosh, maybe it's contagious. Gosh! Or maybe something's funny going on. I think we should check it out. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> I said okay, but I said alright. <laughs> and where are you going? To check it out. What's the matter? You just told us to check it out, Donald. Why are you, where are we supposed to check out? We're just gonna stand here? Don't be ridiculous. Come on, Goofy. Yeah. 
Yeah, but maybe we should shut the door behind us. At least he's generous, you know, thinking about it. Don't want to let the breeze in. And all the AC out. What? What's going on? Oh, shit. Who is that? Must be a heartless. See how handles my magic. Thunder. Uh, nothing happened. We're kind of confused about it. Uh, where's the thunder, Donald? Not even fire, no blizzard, nothing? I think we're screwed. I think it should obvious. I think it's obvious. The moment you set foot in this castle, you forgot every spell and ability you knew. That's bullshit. What? It's like every Kingdom Hearts game, apparently. Oh, sorry. You're in, a, you're in a new campaign. But to do this, you have to forget everything you knew previously. Crazy, bro! So forgetting does not end there. In this place, the find is the lose, and the lose is the find. Mm. That, that is the way of things in Castle Oblivion. Very true. Castle Oblivion? Yes, here you will meet people you know. People you know. Looks like there's no one. Uh, Riku! You mean Riku? He is here? Do you want to find him? If you do. Uh, huh? What did you do? I sampled your memories. And from them, I made this. It's the key to reuniting with those you hold dear. Oh my god, it's a card! What is this, a card? Yes, a blue-eyed white dragon card. Uh, <laughs> I promise. Use that card and press on, you'll find your friend. Alright, hold the card before you, the door will open. And beyond it, a new world. Alright, well we only got one card, so we can only go to one world. Which is Travis Town. Let's select the cards. There only has one card now. Um, hey, Brent, confirm. Can I actually back out? I can't. I have to confirm. <laughs> yep, you can't afford to do it. Like this? Yes, go, Thor. To lose and claim a new, or claim a new only to lose. Come on guys, let's go. Wait, this can't be right, we're in Travis Town. It isn't reality that you see. Drift Town was illusion perceived by your memories and buried in that card. My memories? Forget about that, Sora, we're two heads short. Guys, where are you? What did you do with them? You're at the mercy of the cards now. Master the cards, and their strength will be yours again. Now, the walls of the castle require that your friends be transformed into cards. Except for Jiminy and me. But, uh, that's fine, I guess. all your friends, you will pick them up without fail. Man, pick up Donald, I guess. Start to pick up are added to the top of your stack. Use them and your friends will come to your aid. Hey. Donald! Okay, go. The cards you use vanish, but they will reappear to aid you time and time again. The cards are the hearts of your friends. Everything in this castle is ruled by the cards. Damn. Whether an enemy or a door stands in the way, cards is the only way to proceed. We must forget your own strength. Gonna jump. Off. In the midst of a roll. First think for yourself, move. 
first think for yourself, move, then you card. Good. Every move you make causes the card to disappear. If you use up all your cards, you will be unable to act. But there's a solution to keep using cards to your run out, and I'll show you. Okay. I don't want to worry about the cards you're seeing, you see the cards you're gonna get. For training purposes. There, you had no more cards, and without them, no power. If you want that power back, you must focus. Bid the cards to return, and they will. Yeah, you have to hold it. You have to hold A. Strength of your cards brought back. Uh, the strength of your heart brought back the lost card. You can recall spent cards at any time. You need only wish it. Each time you do, the cards will take longer to return. See, interesting. The cards are by no means unlimited. Use them wisely. Anticipate the flow of battle and choose the most effective cards. You may use any card in your deck. Right now we can. Four, there are four types of cards in battle are grouped into two wide categories. The first category includes attack cards, magic cards, and item cards. Well, uh, that's like 90% of all the cards in the game. The second category consists entirely of, of enemy cards. You use cards from a different category. We just press select. Interesting, we have no enemy cards. Cards will empower you whether you're attacking or defending, but it's up to you to decide when to attack and when to defend. Do not forget it. Are you sure, right? Where have you been? You tell us when you open the door, there was this weird light. And the rest is big blank. We'll try to remember what happened. I need to keep my journal up to date. Wait a second, Donald. Where'd you get the new studs? Duds? Dude, Goofy Stone's been messing with our clothes. They, they look the same to me as they did in Kingdom Hearts 1. Maybe... The cards again? That is for you to ponder. Master the cards and make your way through the castle. From here on, you walk alone. We, we can't go up here. That's not fair. Yeah, Sorry I can't do anything without our help. Yeah, geez, thanks a lot. You sure you'll be alright? Yeah, of course. No. I've beat this game a couple times. I think I'm alright. Want me to go alone? Fine. I'll take care of myself. <laughs> the girl speaks so boldly. Golden. The rest of Castle Oblivion awaits. Look at the invention of latent memories and shall meet someone dear to you. Alright. I have a really bad feeling about this. Hey, you can't quote that. That's some Star Wars. Well, thank you, Jiminy. I'm ready for any tricks he's got up his sleeve. How hard can it be to figure out these cards? How to use these ones from that door over there? Pull the following actions in the field. Alright, move, swing, key, blade, jump. Yeah, of course. To open the door in the field, strike them with the key blade. You have to physically hit the door. Very aggressive, but that's how you do it in the Game Boy. In the PS2 version, you just kind of press triangle on it and it opens and it's able to be opened. But in this one, you just kind of have to smack it. To proceed to the next room, you need a map card. Yes, just like that man said, everything in this castle requires cards. Cards are the only way to proceed. Map cards used to synthesize new and unexplored rooms. Rooms. Ugh. First, select the map card you want to use. Alright. Well, we only have 
one map card. This is a key card. We can use that. So we have to use this one. This is a save point right here. The number you see in the middle of the screen is the criterion criteria for opening the door. The criteria displayed now means the door will open with a value of one or greater. You need to pick up a card that meets this criteria. Cards have have marked values from zero to nine. Interesting. All right. Zero cards. Zero cards mark zero. And special cards which meet all criteria. Oh, that's nice. The cards without a mark value is a key card. Key cards are used as as special doors. All right. Yeah. So this is the key card here. Just for like um, progressing with the plots of uh, the rooms in the game. So we have one card, so we're just gonna use it. This will get us to a save point in the game. And we'll get the Travis Town logo. That's nice. We're still learning to play the game. Swirling circle in front of you. Uh, swirling. I need to turn it down so I can't hear myself. Swirling um, crystal in front of Sora is called a save point. Stand here and press A to open the save menu. Alright. Well, I, I wasn't that close to it. Alright. Aside from saving at a save point, you can also quick save anywhere in the field. Open the game menu. Pressing start. Choose quick save and press the A button. Checking objects in the field of your keyways leaves various results. Try striking the, the sparrow. Alright. Ooh, a card! Eminent objects aren't the only things you can hit. Touching a heartless on the field starts a battle, but you can strike a heartless first to gain the upper hand. Alright, we're gonna strike it. So it starts stunned. Alright, see? And even our uh key cards also have numbers on them. That's pretty nice. Oh man, I'm confused. I'm stuck! Oh my god. Alright, so let's um Oh I can't hit what guy. Hello? There we go. We got a two card right in here. Alright, am I allowed to press start now? Alright, here we go. Alright. So here's the world map. Let's just check the world map right now. Very small since this is the first world, but uh, here we are right now in the Tranquil Darkness uh, map. This is the save area. Um, there's different ty uh, all different types of map cards, but this one's pretty average um, kind of map um, decent amount of heartless nothing to really worry about it's a very basic room um, we got world cards but we only have one world card uh, let's check our deck out that we have so we can have up to three decks in the game um, we only get one, so once we collect more cards, we can make like different strategies or whatever. So this is what we got: uh, seven, six, five, five, four, three, four, three, two, two, one, zero. Um, oh, we do start with uh, uh, a blizzard right here. That's a five, a six potion, and a seven cure. Now, um. Unlike most of the other Kingdom Hearts games, uh, potions, these items right here, they don't actually heal you, that's what the cures are for and whatnot. Uh, these just reload your cards and whatnot, it's kind of interesting to um, just reload all available attack cards, so it just makes it easier a bit in the game, so you don't have to spend all your energy trying to reload your deck every time so they can come in handy but once you use it uh it's gone so that should uh, let you uh, know all that there's a heartless in here oh, I don't think I hit it damn beat 
your butt real quick. Oh, we got a hero map card. The fire part. Oh my god, I can't use I can't use ice against this guy, he would just heal. There we go. Same map card. Alright, when you level up you get these different bonuses, so you get to raise your HP. So if you took some damage and you chose this, you'll go to a new max HP and heal, which is nice. Um CP boost. Um basically um, cards do have value, and just make it to where you can basically make it to where you can add more cards into your deck, or more expensive cards that you may be getting as well, so you're going to be needing to do this, and slides when you learn special abilities. You only get these for certain levels, so if you don't pick this, um, uh, even at level 99, it'll be the same slide, I'm um, pretty sure. So you might as well just get it now. Um, slide dash slide towards, slide towards distance targets for close range attack. Alright. Uh, three types, three attack cards the same type, total value 10 to 15. Alright, well they haven't told us how to do slides yet, so we're not going to worry about it. I mean, you don't even need to learn how to do it right now. If you already know how to, you can do it right now. And, I mean, it's not going to stop you. It's kind of interesting. They like spawn right at the door. There's so much. Oh, I didn't mean to hit the door. My bad. There you go. HP. Come on, they're gonna really expensive cards. That's a damn nine. I got a nine. Holy crap. I could just make this a nine and probably make the next room literally invisible. Literally impossible to make. To make uh, let's just use this five, I guess. Expensive. Got him. Oh, we finally got a friend. Let's use Donald then. Okay, I don't really need a healer now, Donald. Thank you. Oh my god, there's like Bonnie right on top of me. I'm 
being quiet right now. Beat heart, what's up? Time my life. Oh, I still wanna heal up. I have a decent amount of HP. Oh my god, you keep coming. What room did I choose? What room am I in? Oh, it's literally the same type of room. Wow, I feel like there's more heartless in this room than the other one. There we go. Lots of embezzled with crowns are special doors. Yeah, there's a little crown on top of this door. Uh, you need a special card called key cards to open these doors. Yeah, very specific. Uh, but just having the key card is enough to open the door. You need the key card and a very capped and one or more additional cards meeting certain criteria. Um, pick up map cards that meet criteria and you can open the door. So yeah, this is very cheap. It's just uh, one or greater of anything. But some of them are very specific to where they have to be green or blue or blue and green and it has to be one or greater or five or greater. Sometimes it'll be five or lower. Sometimes it's just color based and sometimes it's just straight up numbers like Eventually, you'll get to a, a door later in the game where they require like 50 to 60 cards, and it's ridiculous. I mean, by that time, you have a bunch of cards, but still, holy crap. Um, let's use this three to break it. Alright, cool. Back up and use this key card. Alright, now we're going to enter a cutscene. Finding loan isn't easy as I, as I thought. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I felt fine. On a, on a plane. Ah, oh, don't pop out of nowhere like that. Kind of fault. We don't know what's going on either. Oh, she probably just got kind of rusty. You sure you don't need us? I'm oh, fine. Honest. I haven't got goofy yet. Think like that and you're good as heartless fodder. Leon, is that you? Leon, it's you! <laughs> I said, is that you? <laughs> oh my god. What are you doing in Castle Oblivion? Castle Oblivion? What are you talking about? This is Travis Town. How do you know my name? I've seen you. Never seen any of you before in my life. Damn, bro. Quit playing Leon. We fought the Heartless together. You know that. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know your names. Oh, sorry. I guess he doesn't. I can't believe it. How can you have forgotten about us? Yeah, I feel for you. You got the wrong guy. Happens all the time. Don't take it so personal, Sora. You do know his name. Now, now, hold on. How do I know your name? I think Leon's just kidding around? If he is, it's not very funny. Sora's really hurt. Just kidding around, Goofy. You and Donald are the ones who... Very confusing conversation. I don't get it. What's happening to my memory? Oh, yeah. oh, this, who is this? She said she sent something uncanny. Kind of power and us to look into it. Well, we looked and this is uncanny as it gets. There she brings on the others. Dude. Eric? Am I saying your name right? I feel like I am. I'm probably definitely wrong. Yuffie, you, you know my name? Yep, looks like you know mine too. Oh, her name's Yuffie. Oh, I forgot. Friend of yours? 
Oh, total strangers. I definitely know his name. Strange, yes, but convenient. We can skip the introduction. No, she's not wrong. Oh, Leon's so confused. Well, gee, Yuffie, I guess all our problems are solved. <laughs> I guess they are, bro. Anyway, I'm gonna run ahead and fill Hero, and I might have to look that up. I'm definitely butchering her name now. You want to give Sora and the others a grand tour? See you later. Well, let's get on to it. Come on, follow me. Be careful, though. They're still heartless running around town. I better teach you how to protect yourself in battle. Alright. See the numbers printed on your cards? I do. The range from 0 to 9. High numbers mean strong cards. If you and your enemy both play a card at the same time, the higher card wins. Go on, try it out. Yeah, the 9. I definitely. He's breaking everything I use. Here we go. See how it works? Play a card higher than your opponent and breaking through the defenses is called a card break. Interesting. Playing a lower card results in your tech being deflected. Even powerful cards can be deflected if the enemy card is higher. Whoever's on the loose side of a break is left wide open, so it's saying. Don't let that person be you. Cards at zero as their value are special. No matter what card the enemy plays, you can break it with a zero card. You have to wait until after... Where, yeah, that's all caps. AFTER the enemy plays their card. If you play the zero card too soon, the enemy can break it with any card they play. In other words, it is the most powerful card if it comes last and useful to come first. Try to make the most of it. Card values also affect the cost of assembling a deck. Keep that in mind. Yeah, that's what I was talking about the CP earlier. Now it's time to teach you how to stock cards. Stock? It's like using the word stack. How stacking. Got oh, I didn't read that. <laughs> I skipped it a little too early. You can also assemble three cards and use them all at once. It's called stocking cards. Okay. Stacking cards and using them in threes is much stronger than using cards individually. Go on, give it a try. Stock any three cards in your deck. Remember, you know, you need three cards or it won't work. The sum of your three stock cards becomes the value you play. Yeah, two plus seven plus seven is sixteen. There you go. The value is usually high and hard to break, and the combo deals a lot of damage. Don't hold back, show me what you can do. Yeah, you have to hold L and R simultaneously to uh, stock or stack the cards. It means the word stack, it sounds better. To stack the cards, right? And then you have to press them simultaneously again to use it. How much hex are the only benefit of stocking cards? Stacking! Leon, stacking. Uh, another thing about stacking is, uh, especially with Game Boy, uh, it can be very difficult at some times, because it's pressing simultaneously. So if you slightly press, like, the L button or the right button slightly, you know, before, or just faster, or first, right? It will, like, reposition your cards in your deck, right? You know, because you're, because you can use any card in your deck and you're scrolling through it. If you, you know, if you slightly press to the right a little earlier, alt the net switches to the next cards and you just kind of fucked up your combo. It can happen, it's kind of devastating, so be warned if you're playing the Game Boy. Choose your cards carefully, you can only special abilities called slides. Yeah, we just learned one, actually. Slides come in all vari um, varieties, and each has its own unique card combination. 
should try it out once you've collected more cards and learned a slider too. Keep one thing in mind. Every time you use a slide, you lose the first card you pick from the slide. You can't reload it, the last card won't return until the end of the battle. Relying only on slides will cause your cards to run out, that means trouble. Think you got the hang of it? Yeah, more or less. I'll pick up the rest on that fight some real battle. Have fun this laying around, you take it. Oh, and I showed you make good use of it. Obtain Simba, he's a summoning card. You obtain the key of guidance, that's one of the key cards. Alright, so now I'm gonna edit my deck here. So we can remove cards by pressing. Oh, I, I backed up. Pressing L, we can remove cards from our deck. Uh, we can add cards from our deck. So let's see what we have. So we got a zero. Oh, hold on. What? Then we got Simba, which is a six, but he costs 30 CP. And I only have 261 CP out of 275 CP, so I have to get rid of some cards so you can put them in the deck. But I'm not gonna do that right now. But, uh, you can rearrange cards in any order in your deck. Since we learned that slide earlier, the same attack card through 10 to 15, 10 through 15, we can rearrange cards here, so, uh, well, let's do that right now. Uh, let's do this. This is 10, so this is slide right here, this is 11, this is 13, this is just 7, 1, 0. Uh, I like to put the zeros at the very back of my deck as far as I possibly can put it. Um, this can also be a slide too. Um, if you do slides of like healing items or whatever, definitely use the potion as your first card in the slide. Because like I said, once you use it, it's going to go away anyway. So might as well put it in the first slide so you can keep an extra card in your deck. For those purposes. Um, but, yeah, everything looks fine to me, uh, let's just, Ooh, I can make this a 10 by getting rid of that 3, but do I really want to do that? Hmm. I might need it for something. Nah, we can just... There we go, that looks better. Alright. Oh! Oh, hold on, I fucked up. Oh, I did not mean to do the... Hello? Get him a two big? Thank you. Alright, now let's get into another fight. So we can test that slide. Oh, come on. I forget my jump button already. Ooh, a card! Oh, the healing card! Why is it a zero? Zeros are so expensive! Oh, another card. A one. Ones are very cheap. Put your deck. Right, in the next door, I guess. 
Uh, six. Alright, uh, we got Tranquil's Darkness, Feeble Darkness, Sleeping Darkness, Meeting Ground, so... Um, Feeble Darkness, you see that it has a minus two on these heartless words. Um, in this room, they appear with slightly worse cards than they, what they normally would use, which is really nice. It's like a minus two to all their cards that they have. Sleeping Darkness kind of obvious, they'll appear in the room. Sleep. And Meeting Ground is... Basically, when you start the battle, um, you, your friends are automatically at the beginning of the battle, so you're going to be getting them quite fast, which is pretty nice. But we're just going to use the six. Oh, wow, the doors are right there. Ooh. That easy, easy slide. Oh! See what I mean? I tried to do it and I fucked up. I was trying to tell you, it's very devastating. God, it's hard to hit the flying ones with this. I was facing the opposite direction! I'm not facing the opposite direction, but... With that eye thing. In case you're wondering, like, oh, Leon, what happens if you both play the same card? Just break each other. Nothing happens, you kind of both stumble back a bit. Yeah, well, whoever plays the next card fastest could technically get the upper hand. Whoever, whoever that could be, um, against regular Heartless, not really much to really worry about, but against some bosses, you know, I mean, they can play their cards extremely fast. I didn't do that slide because if I accidentally hit him with my blizzard, he'll heal. heal. No, I'm not going to try to do all that. Now let's hit this door. Come on. Ooh. A three or greater. Do I even have a three? I don't. Mm. Oh, Teeming Darkness. Here's a new card that we got. This makes this is a room where a shit ton of Heartless appear. And it's a really even bigger room. I don't want to use that one. Let's use a meeting ground one. There we go. Use the heart. Here we go. Uh, don't, uh, don't uh, tell me you haven't got me too. Don't know whether to say nice to meet you or good to see you again. It feels, feels like a little bit of both. I don't think I know you, but I still feel like you belong here. Mm. Exactly. Like we never met, but it still doesn't feel weird knowing your name. But I'm telling you, we have met. We took on Heartless together. We are, 
we were a team. Feels like you're right, but I can't remember. I guess you won't remember what you told me. The hollow bastion when I steal the keyhole. We never met we never meet again. But we'll never forget each other. Yeah, crazy. You remember. See you do remember. Yep, confused. But... He's right, Leon. I remember you saying that too. I guess I can't write it off as a coincidence then. I don't think I have any memories of it, but somehow I still remember. Maybe so his heart is doing the memory for us. How does that work? You don't know you, sir, but your heart is still full of memories of us together. Those memories must remain in our hearts too. Alright, maybe they're telling us things we couldn't otherwise know. Listen, that's why his memories are affecting ours. Mm -hmm. Memories do seem to have a certain power. Maybe it's like that guy said then. This town's just an illusion, something my memories created. There's someone special to you in this town. How did you... Ah, uh, I get it. My memories are resonating with you, telling me... Telling you what happened. Anyway, yeah, a friend of mine is somewhere in this town. I mean, Castle Oblivion. Castle Oblivion? What's that? There ain't any castles in this rapid town. Yeah, so I stop talking crazy talk. That's uh, not what I, what I meant. So it probably still on his own. Probably still has his own questions, right? Right. We just got here after all. It wouldn't hurt to take a look around. Then go ahead, have a walk around town. There are heartless, but they're no problem for you. So you know I can fight. Can't say I remember, but I'm starting to believe. Alright, now we got the key of truth. Get up there. Oh, seven. Do I even have a seven in my deck? I don't. Let's uh, use the meeting grounds. Just use us. I do have a zero, so that's nice, so we'll be able to break this nine here in the next room. Cool. Oh my. Let's see, just like I said, uh, I'm trying to get here. Look, he's dumb. Oofy for the first time. Damn. Up. Pretty big. Oh, one? Don't you blizzard, you ass, right? McDonald's can cast like. Three different things, I believe. Actually, four different things. These are gonna be casting. I mean, you only cast two things, so let's use the TP. Yeah, he's, only, he's gonna be casting two things. Uh, four things, fuck. These are gonna be cast. You cast two spells. Because you're gonna cast. Fire, Blizzard, Thunder, or Tear. In any order. It does not matter what you're fighting. You could be fighting these fire guys. If you cast fire, hit them and heal them. It's devastating. So be careful when you use Donald here. But he is a potential healer, so it's really nice. So you got him. Cast fire guys. Another meeting ground with the home. They're giving a shit ton of zeros right now. Like when you put here, here, huh. oh, I got an 
I guess I'm gonna use the fire one too. Oh well. healing orbs or uh, monkey points or cards but be careful when you hit them or jump on jump on them because if there's heartless running around and a card pops out and you're trying to go grab it and if that heartless touches you before you can grab that card you can kiss it goodbye because it won't be there again I guarantee you lost it so just be be forewarned try to make sure the room's kind of clear before you Go get cards. I mean, it kind of happens sometimes, but yeah. All right, right here's the here's the boss fight. But I think I've been recording for pretty long, so I'm just gonna uh, end it here and do the boss fight uh, in the next episode. We're gonna be doing two boss fights in the next episode. So um, I hope you all enjoyed episode of Kingdom Hearts Channel Memories on the Game Boy. I hope you all uh, will enjoy this new game new game that I'll be playing on my uh, channel. And I hope to see you again in the next episode. Uh, bye for now. I'll use a quick save here.